this next magician can flip Penn and Teller's lids. Take a look. When I was younger, my father would always do magic, and through osmosis, I actually learned his skills. One day, I was really bored, and I started messing around with these cards in front of the mirror. My dad had been showing me magic my whole life, and I could actually do some really cool stuff. My motto is make magic happen. I'll have a problem that I need to tackle. I go out to the desert, and I just meditate, and I focus. The universe answers, and the problem, it solves itself. When I was asked to be on Penn & Teller Fool Us, I had to go out to the desert and meditate. I came up with something bigger, better, scarier, and more dangerous than I've ever done before. And I'm gonna blow Penn & Teller away. We're about to make Fool Us history. This next trick is too large for our stage, so we had to tape it earlier today and roll it in. So here from outside the Rio is Seth Grable. Hey, Allison. What's up, Penn & Teller? Thanks for making this dream a reality. I'm gonna be handcuffed, locked, and welded in this car. Then, this 40-foot tall giant monster is gonna crush, mangle, and completely destroy the car with me inside. This is the first time I've ever done anything this crazy and dangerous before. In case the unthinkable happens, there are paramedics standing by. My name's Seth Gravel, and this is Eaten Alive. <laughs> Definitely not an easy trick, is it? It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and where did you find that dinosaur? He's Craigslist, actually. <laughs> really? And what's his name? Robosaurus. Robosaurus. Yeah, the one, the only. OK. Does he only tear apart police cars? No, he could actually tear apart anything. Oh, really? Pretty much anything, yeah. yeah. So what, what else do you have working in your mind? 
I just saw something really cool with a armored truck. Ooh. So that's something that I want to do with an armor truck. So what drew you to big illusions? I've done a lot of cards. I've done a lot of coin stuff. My thing right now is bigger, better, stronger, more dangerous and crazy. Cool. Okay, let's see if they know how you survived that trick. Let's see. How do I All survive right. that trick? That was a wicked big dinosaur. Yeah, it was. Wicked big. Yeah. Wicked, we like that dinosaur. We want that dinosaur. You know, we see you go out in that parking lot, we go, oh boy, not another card trick. Thank you. That was the farthest from a card trick we've had on the show. That's what we're, I was trying to do. You were completely successful. Thank it was you. fabulous. And using a police car. I was actually trying to get, you know, a police car you can't get out of easily. Oh, I see. That was the, I see. that was it. I think of a whole different thing, you know? I understand. <laughs> But okay, good, because you're trapped in the police car, and you were trapped. In I was that actually a little car. scared. I was trapped a little too long. Yeah, but you were trapped in that police car, and you followed one of our major rules of magic, which is if you turn around, what you're going to see there is above the name "fool us." It says "pen and." Teller, and you cannot find a shot of us that does not say pen and teller behind it. And you had your name and signage all over, and that may be the most important part of the trick. Get your name out there all the Thank time. You. Thank That's you. Uh, and you are wonderful. Does that mean I know how you did the trick? I learned from the best. Oh, thank you. So you know how that they know how you did the trick. That's 100 percent right. Yes, good job. Thank you so much. Oh. Nicely done. You guys got it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Seth Grable. We need a moment to make room for our next amazing act. Come back and see more mind-bending magic after this.